Cirque du Soleil performers are extraordinary, but Mitch Winter, who plays the trickster in Kuza, he's going to try to convince me that he's just an ordinary person. Trust me, he's not. I'm Dana Tyson. This is my podcast. Thank you, Mattress Mac and Gallery Furniture for sponsoring. Mitch, Cirque du Soleil, you have got a loyal following. And for people who have never been to a Cirque du Soleil performance, after they hear from Mitch... They're going to be like, oh, my gosh, I've got to check this out. Now, you are a very special character in Cirque du Soleil's Kuza. You're not the contortionist. You're not the tightroper. I think that you're more like the leader that brings us into this journey, this magical journey. And how would you describe the trickster? Yes, so I'm the trickster, and he is almost like the ringleader in Kuza. So he is the ruler of the world and um, he's teaching this young innocent the way of life. So he's playing little tricks on him and he's kind of mischievous, um, but he's also very elegant and royal. So he's kind of that playful character and he just owns the Kuza world. You know, he's just got that swagger, coolness, but also is very enchanting. Uh, so yeah, that's how I would describe a trickster. When I saw you as the trickster, I, I was, I was with my granddaughter. This show is great for anyone. Mm -hmm. And I just said, look at the way he captivates the audience from head to toe. First of all, that, that perfectly fitted striped suit. And then wow. the next one where you're just wild, but <laughs> it's your gold fingers. Yes, the fingers. <laughs> How? Who came up with the, show us the movement of the fingers that the audience, if they're really paying attention, they get to see. Yeah, so the fingers are so important. It's like this like little enchanting finger display and we have our gold fingers and it just shines on stage with the lighting. And then not only are you enchanting us with, with your outfit, your fingers, your acrobatic ability was stunning. You're Thank all you, alone <laughs> doing this as you're acting. This, obviously, since you were a little boy, have you been doing this? Yeah, I started, I'm actually a dancer. So I started at the age of 12. And I have been dancing for now 10, 11 years. And my acrobatic level, I actually trained myself. So I would be watching YouTube videos all the time and then trying them on my front yard and trying this, trying this. I'll be like, mom, can you help me do a backflip? And it kind of just unfolded, you know, and then I started to find a love for both dance and acrobatics. And here I am with Cirque du Soleil, Kuza. All right, now for those listening, that's not an American accent. You're from no. Australia. I'm from Australia, <laughs> yes. So can all we take... Way down quick, under. <laughs> yes, take a journey back to your childhood. Mm -hmm. I would imagine, and I've spoken with Kuza, with Cirque du Soleil, I should say, performers before, who saw a Cirque du Soleil and said, this is me. This is what I want in my life. Was that your experience? Yeah, my experience was different. Like, I saw Cirque du Soleil online. So through social media and through marketing. So I saw this trickster character and immediately it spoke to me. It had so much confidence. It had a lot of things that I wish or I wanted to be. And I was 15 years old when I saw this character just online, not in, on, in a live show. And I thought, like, I want to do that. So I, I set a goal and I was like, I'm doing that. And here I am. So unbelievable yeah. do you do do you do now the performers I, I tell people when you go to a Cirque du Soleil show it's it's beyond reality I mean these are actual human beings performing yeah. things that that look like it's not even real it just yeah. gets more and more unreal as the show yes. progresses <laughs> do you guys do normal things like do you eat fast food do you watch tv what do you do when you're not being amazing yeah well literally just like anyone else we uh we all binge out eating. I watch series. I watch Netflix and we we party. We do this, you know, it's just like a normal life, but on tour. Um, of course, we have limits because we do have to look after our bodies so much. And some people do very dangerous things as well. So they limit themselves, but we all know how to have fun and 
and explore the cities that we're in, you know, yeah, it's good. <laughs> All right, being from down under, what's your favorite thing about America that you've discovered? Any particular city, anything that you just are going, I just like, we love Cirque du Soleil. I just love this about a city. Yeah, I love, I mean, I've traveled America a bit and I, I love, I actually love San Francisco. I loved the vibe and I love like, oh, it was a great city to be in. I love New York. Yeah, it's just, I think America is just so grand and amazing. You know, you're always impressed and yeah, I love it. It's well, that's excellent. A great I'm, city. Uh, I'm glad country. to hear because I've heard great country. I've heard great yes. things about Australia too. My mother-in-law is like, you and I have to go. And I go, yes. just give me time. I will go. Yes. Now, <laughs> you have set goals for yourself and you've achieved them. I mean, you're a young guy who is like the the leading role, I, in my opinion. I, I'm sure it is. Everyone, if you could hear what people said about you after the performance, I mean, they're like, we've got to find him on social media. Where can we find you on social media? Are yes. you, do you participate? Yes, I for sure do. I love Instagram. It's just my name, Mitch Winter. Winter spelled with a Y. Y. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that's my and Facebook, but I mainly use Instagram. That's where I, and TikTok as well. Excellent. Love TikTok. Excellent. Love TikTok. <laughs> and yeah. what about your next goals? Acting? Maybe what, what are you, what are you thinking? Well, I actually like, uh, being creative and choreographing. Like before I joined Cirque as well, I was a choreographer. So I was working with lots of kids and young adults. So I was thinking something more to do with Cirque with maybe creating a show or choreographing or directing artistic director. So something quite big, but I also love staying in my performance zone right now. Like I'm young, I wanna get out on stage. I wanna play this part and possibly other performance opportunities, maybe within this company or not. But I'm really happy with where I am now. And these are like goals for the next 10 years or so. So I'm looking at you perform kind of for us. Do you, do you practice in the mirror, the look on your face when you're in the <laughs> trickster mode? What oh, would, yeah. what would that look like? Show me. So because I know you've got makeup on. Yeah, the makeup for Trickster is insane. It takes us about an hour and a half to two hours each night mm. because each Cirque du Soleil performer does their own makeup, yeah. which a lot of people don't know. Um, so we all get trained to do that. But um, I have my little ritual look in the mirror before going out and I'm there and I'm kind of giving this like, but I have these big lips in the show, but I'm there like, <laughs> giving this enchanting look and then that kind of gets me in the zone and then boom, I'm out there. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. I have two more questions. Something surprising people might not know about you. Oh, okay. I'm actually a really good cook. <laughs> nice. Like, I'm not like a five-star chef, but some people, because in real life I can be a little clumsy, a little ditzy. So people are like, oh, he doesn't like, I don't know. I've, I've lived on my own for so long, so I can cook, I can clean, I can do this. And people don't really expect that from me, you know, very but nice. I can cook. I like a good pasta, you know. Very good. Very good. <laughs> That's something. Life since, lessons. Yes, exactly. Since you've been on your own yeah. a long time and you're very goal oriented. Yes. What's a life lesson that you're just like, man, I'm so glad I learned this. I want to share this with the world. For me, it's just being me. So I always say to people, be you and that's when you'll succeed. Because some people try and be like everyone else and they wonder why can't I be what I want? What, why can't I be what I wanna be? And they're limiting themselves because they're not being themselves. Like I, I realized this through my childhood with accepting myself and, uh, being the performer I am, you know, there's so many of us performers and you can't be like the person next to you. You have to be you. And that's my, my life lesson that I learned at a young age. And I, I want to pass that knowledge on to people too.
That's beautiful. Mitch, I just want to say it's been an honor to talk to you um, without Black that Friday. makeup on. You're just, yes. a, your, your parents must be so proud yeah. of what you've <laughs> achieved, your dreams at such a young age. And I'm sure you have many more great dreams to achieve in the future. Yeah. As a mom of four boys, I'd be very proud of you. Yeah. Uh, thank you. <laughs> it's a delight to talk with you. Thank you for taking time Excellent. out of your busy schedule. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. <laughs>